Hello, Katya here and you're so so welcome to this tutorial. Have you seen these gorgeous papers from AB Studio a a Emerald Queen? I'm planning to do two tags with these gorgeous papers. Uh, these tags from Prima, they have shipboard and they have like one adhesive uh, uh, so it's easy to stick them on paper. So two tags on my mind and these gorgeous papers and the biggest struggle is uh, to choose what papers I want to use for this project. That's also always a problem. And this is papers in my taste. Emerald is always amazing. It's so vibrant and look at these papers. They are so gorgeous. Every paper as they are. So, and I have, um, when I have a paper collage, uh, collection with the cutouts, um, when I have some time over, I'm doing cutouts because there is some blue, vibrant, gorgeous flowers in the collection. Okay, time to choose the papers. Uh, and uh, I'm looking uh, back and forward to choose. I'm thinking I can do some cutouts from the bonus sheet. And this vibrant page I love. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking and looking here and mm, here on sheet uh, number seven. Uh, there are on the edges the leaves, uh, what I like, and you can use for cutout. And I decide something on opposite. Uh, the stripe one, sheet number five, to make some cut contrast between the layers of paper. So I'm speeding up a little bit, and you see me, it's so easy to stick them. And when they are off shipboard, uh, it's uh, perfect to do some mixed media on them. Uh, today I will not do so heavy uh, mixed media, more easy. So I uh, add the, the paper onto my tags and cut them out and uh, edges, I scrape them with my scissors. I like that uh, when it's not perfect. I have this stencil number 150 and it have a amazing pattern and I'm thinking to use it on the, the background. Um, a little bit difficult to choose which kind of uh, shape you want uh, when you have a busy background. Uh, but I want to tone back the background a little bit because it's striped. And if I'm adding white modeling paste, uh, and you see I have shoes on the stencil, the areas where is a lot of... Uh, space so it will be more white on that places and that's it to to give the background more like white but i will add some color on there but uh, but this is to tone uh, down the stripes a little bit okay when i have a stencil so i can take one of my journals and take the leftover and add it to a page in my uh, one of my journals. Now I have the sheets and it's time to do some cutting, to do some cutouts. 
and uh, some flowers and some leaves will be cut out. I remember when I um, that I haven't had any clear gesso and because I will play with some paint on it uh, you must add gesso. I could add uh, white gesso to tone down the stripes but I reused clear gesso uh, and it's okay to add it after also. Uh, I'm not thinking to add it on the flowers or on the other pieces because I'm thinking that I will not play with uh, paint then. So to play with colors on papers think that you need to have some uh, gesso. And uh, I use uh, here the green paper and I will add uh, something more like a layering here on my um, tags. And uh, don't be afraid if it's not perfect. You see me, I'm doing here uh, one more paper because I didn't, I wasn't happy with the first one. And uh, that's okay. It's a small piece of paper and you can use the leftovers for some other project. And now you see me uh, trying out the composition. I don't know if I'm going okay or not, because sometimes you have an idea and perhaps it doesn't work. So I'm trying out if my cutouts uh, is uh, enough and um, if my idea will work. Here I have some uh, liquid, uh, uh, no, acrylic paint, sparks. And this is so sparkling, uh, gold color, ancient co coin, and it's gold. And if you add water on it, the mica powder really gets it shiny and uh, like a glittery effect. And uh, I give you advice with jars and like that to clean uh, the edges so they, you will have the pay colors more along because it's acrylic paint can dry. Okay, you see me, I have some lace on my table and I'm drying also my tags because before I will add the, the next layer, I want to have my tags dry. And I have some foam tape to add uh, the extra layer and I could use cardboard or shipboard leftovers also. Um, you see why I have the foam tape? Uh, that is because I want to do the layering and here I have a perfect place to do my layering and to stick under to make like different uh, interest and uh, texture. And I glue them and uh, adding them in layers. And this is a really easy and a quick way to create tags. And this technique you can use on cards, uh, layouts or whatever you create. And this uh, resin frame, I'm gluing them down. And it's time to add the white flowers. And here I'm using um, shipboard uh, pieces to have behind my layering so it will stay up. Uh, the, my foam tape was a little bit too thick for this purpose. So I'm playing around and I also have some golden thread and 
add it here and that's to have the gold feeling from the background to come up on the, on the top layer here. So playing around with it cutouts and, uh, and uh, doing my composition and only using glue and adding the shipboard where I'm where I'm needed. And now while I'm working, I'm notice something. Uh, but I'm going on that I will hide some of my my beautiful frame, my resin frame. It's hide. And yes, I'm sorry about that. That was not my purpose. Mm, but I'm uh, anyway, I'm getting a little bit happy about how the outcome looks. So I go on, but I notice that I have hide the frame. Oh no, but that's just, uh, when you do work within the flow that and when I didn't really have a plan, I have picked some objects on my table and tried to work with them. And here I stick some metallics and I have some embellishment what I want to have in the metallics and here also I add some shipboard pieces or some kind of cardboard pieces uh, because uh, my embellishment what I will have there uh, will fit better so take care of all the small pieces you can get use of them cardboard and um, shipboard leftovers and like that uh, it's always too good to have handy so i'm adding that and my tags i they don't have any title but i think it's okay anyway because when it's time to give them uh, i can add a title that match the who will have the tag and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think uh, I read all my comments and um, I'm always happy to hear what you think and please let me know what you if you have some more of AB Studio products you want me to show I do that let me know in in the comment uh, uh, in the below and if you like please please give a thumbs up and uh, you know you can subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss any videos and uh, so happy if you let me know uh, if you have a favorite paper collection or a stencil or stamps from AB Studio that you want me to use, I do. It's okay. I can um, try to do that. If you have any idea or if you want to, next time me to do a layout. So, I'm happy. And uh, I'm adding some uh, vintage uh, pebbles from Finnabel uh, to give a little bit more contrast and also to give it give it the from the background to have the golden feeling. And uh, adding some ribbon to my tags. And uh, yes, yeah, start to get finished, and you notice that the resin frames are not shown. I have uh, sometimes old Posca pens that doesn't work to. They are dry, and they don't go work with to to do some doodling or something like that. But, but there is all, always a little bit paint left in Posca pens, even if you can't write with them. And I'm taking off the last uh, ones in the Posca 
and do some splatters with them. Yes, the tags needed that. I hope you enjoyed this video and you are so welcome back and uh, have a nice day and uh, see you in the next tutorial. You are so welcome back. Bye bye.